Sunday night in November 2019 when I officially came out. The earth is not a spinning ball, and you're the first to hear it. Thank you, Dave. Uh, Thank you. So very nice. um, The email I wrote was read live by a couple of my favorite podcasters, but I can tell you right now, my journey did not start there. So come along with me, if you will, into my flat earth journey, although I do prefer Globe Denier. When I was maybe nine, my pops gave me this book about Paul being dead. Since I was born a Beatles fan, I promptly read it, without any anticipation as to what was to come next. I mean, was he dead? There are only three strings on the guitar. License plate says 28 if. Who's Billy Shears? Why so many subliminal messages? I was obsessed. And I showed you how deep the rabbit hole goes. I guess you can say I've always been pretty open-minded. Just a few years ago, a good friend began babbling about how the earth was flat. Obviously, he was crazy, right? I honestly felt so bad he was made such a mockery of, so I entertained his ideas. Shit, my bad. (laughs) He'd write me notes and draw me diagrams. I began listening to a suggested podcast, and I even downloaded this Flat Earth Zodiac Clock app to get a better idea and visuals of this new theory I'm hearing. But we all know it's a flat, right? Of course it's flat. Sure, I know the world is flat. Well, so do I. Everybody knows that. I then read this book about flat earth clues written by some flat earth god or something. I just thought he was a giant dork. It turns out he might be the nicest, coolest dude I've ever met. Mark totally won me over. I quickly began losing my mind with all the new information I was ingesting. So I did what any rationally confused human would do, and I hopped on a plane to Dallas, Texas. Well, actually Frisco to attend the Flat Earth Conference. I've honestly never been anywhere with more kind, honest, and awake people. It was a breath of fresh air to not feel like a black sheep. For the most part, don't have a clue. They don't want one or need one either. They're happy. They think they have a good bead on things. I gained friends, had a blast, and left Texas feeling wiser, more knowledgeable, and more aware than ever. What's up? What's up? And she's like, can I talk to you? And I had Hello. literally, I had like 10 minutes to go back to my room and back. And I was like, walk with me. To be embracing whistleblowers, people who bring stuff like this, is what the news is supposed to be doing, right? Amen. 500 years ago, everybody knew the earth. They never stopped thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people. And neither do we. The word conspiracy is a derogatory term I've never been a true fan of. I'm a truth seeker. Truth, and I want the facts. And the fact is, I really had no idea why or how I thought the Earth was a spinning globe in the first place. Wait, I do. Indoctrination. But I couldn't give you a single fact about it. And most of you can't see. How can we see the Chicago skyline from Michigan if there's said Kurt? Why can I bring ships back after they appear to go over the horizon with my P900? Perhaps they're not going over and they're just going into shocked, the horizon past their vanishing point. It has to be. Why are all the photos of the impossible what photoshopped images? I have no idea. Okay, next question. And what the hell is gravity? No, really. How are we on a giant ball spinning a thousand miles per hour, spinning again around some other giant ball of fire, zooming through some this is a lot universe at a half a million miles an hour? Earth is round. But I'm not a normal person. Fuck you. None of us just wake up and decide we want to be labeled something that's so shunned upon. The last thing I need in my life is to be given another label that makes me look insane. It's because we can prove major issues with the globe model. And if the flat earth was easily debunkable, we wouldn't be flat earthers. I was told as a little girl I'd play with my dolls and say they were in some type of water globe or system. We know a lot as children before indoctrination. I suppose I've always kind of known something was off. Just driving me mad, like a splinter in my mind. I believe in flat Earth. What about other planets? Yes, I believe the Earth. I is repeatedly flat. ask the question that's frustrating to hear, and that's why. Why the lie? Why the deception? When you ground yourself to the flat Earth and understand where you are, who you are, what you are, it opens up a I've whole new reality. I've always felt completely alone on this life's journey until I learned the biggest lie I've ever been told wasn't that jet fuel melts steel, and I realized and began to understand how important my existence actually is. We would not exist. Flat Earth has completely changed my life in more way in my life in more ways 
then I can explain. I have met some incredible people along this journey, and I am filled with gratitude and love for this community. I feel as if this journey has led me to finding and gaining the family I never truly had. I love you guys. Stay flat.